Hello internet people! In this video I'll show you how to set up Sonos Wi-Fi outlet so you can control it with just using URLs and your Wi-Fi. This means you can control the outlet from any device that has a Wi-Fi. You can even place it on your own website. After you finish with this video, all the ladies will be on you like this. What you been feeding this thing? Blondes. With punch. All right, for this video, you will need a PC with Windows, son of Wi Fi outlet, few pins, soldering machine, female cables, USB to TTL, and then USB to USB mini to connect the USB TTL with your PC, and a smartphone to check IP addresses on your Wi Fi. Enough talk! So, to start off, we need to solder a few pins. So, we have to open up this outlet, and you can do it easily by removing a sticker here and taking out the screw just here. Then, just squeeze the outlet a little bit and try to take these two pieces apart. You don't need much force but just so you can get it out like this. Let's take a look a little bit closer. And here on the side, you see I already soldered a few pins. Uh, so you'll have to do this by yourself. Uh, I'll put in the description a, a guy who makes it really easy. And you'll be soldering this kind of pins. And here's how your device would look like without the pins. And you can solder it once you've removed these two screws here. Uh, and on the back, you'll be able to see four holes. And that's where you put four pins as well. Then just put back the two screws and you're good to go. No problemo. And this little thing is a USB to TTL and you'll be able to connect your computer with the Sonos outlet and then you'll be able to flash the device so you'll, you'll erase the memory and basically replace it with, with other software. They're really cheap and you can get them uh, from Amazon or electronics store. I'll put in the description what I'm using but you can use anything similar to this. So let's uh, first connect the ground uh, I have here a green wire that I'm going to connect here to the ground. And then I have purple that I'm going to connect to power. Uh, and yellow to RX and gray to TX. Don't worry so much about the RX, TX. As long as you got the uh, ground and power correctly, you're good to go. Now we're going to connect these wires to the outlet itself. And it's really important that you connect the ground to the, the pin on the bottom and the power to the pin at the top and then rx tx you can try one way or the other on my board it wasn't even written which one is which so i had to just try it out and you can do the same now we can connect all of this to the laptop and before you connect, uh, you have to hold the button here and then you plug in your USB and you keep holding. Just give it a second or two, then let go of the button and you're in a reset mode. And if it doesn't work, just give it 80 style bang. Now go to your browser on your Windows and go to letscontrolit.com. Once you're on the page, just go to introduction here at the top. Click on it and scroll a little bit down to loading firmware and choose the latest one. In my case, it's the version two. Just grab that one. It will redirect you to Git. You scroll down a little bit. You will find the zip file here and just download it. Extract it. So unzip it. And once it's extracted, 
just click on the flash ASP file and it will open up a pop-up and here you'll see that you've already selected COM3 and if you want to double check how that works you just go to your device manager and there just find ports and you'll see that if you open it up you have USB and COM3 here so you're all good if this matches what you have in the flash ESP uh, it should be set automatically but you can double check it here so once you've done that just select in the second drop down the 1024 normal and hit run and if everything goes well you'll have the, these dots here indicating the loading uh, I'll speed it up for you here but once you're done you'll see the run is complete that means that everything was successful uh, if you don't see this and it told you that it failed you might want to try to switch the RX and TX wires so in my case they were yellow and gray so just just switch them around on the outlet and then it should work and if it didn't work then you're like this guy you did not make it Victor now you can disconnect your USB and connect it again and you can go to your Wi-Fi you should see this ESP0 uh, if you hit it you should get redirected to a page like this where where you can see all your available Wi-Fi networks in the area select your Wi-Fi and then enter the password sexy bill will help hide my password and if everything went well you should get this timer it will take 20 seconds and then it should give you a message that it was successful and people are very sensitive i know i know mine are too but we're almost there now you can grab your phone and download an app uh, that can check who's on your wi-fi uh, I have here on my Wi-Fi, uh, but any other app will work. The, the point here is to uh, see which IP has been assigned to the Sonoff outlet. And in my case, it was the port 29 here. So now I'm able to go to my browser and type in the IP address that the app gave me just a few seconds ago. And this way I'll be able to connect to Sonoff outlet. So once you get here, there's a very simple layout here so let's go ahead and set up our son off so if you go to the config menu uh, you can give your son of uh, another name uh, I'm putting it too because I already set up uh, another one that was under number one then hit submit and go to hardware and in the first drop down just choose the GPIO 13 and this will be our warning light on the outlet then hit submit and go to devices uh, and click on the first row on the table and edit and choose from devices switch input and submit and now you can give it a name Keep delay as a zero. Set the first GPIO to 12 and the IDX as one. And then you can click on submit. And if you go back to devices, you'll see that now in, in the first row uh, is the device you just set up. So now you can go to tools and advanced and if you scroll down almost to the bottom uh, check the rules hit submit and now you should have a new menu called rules so if you click on that one you'll have a text box like this and this is where we're gonna add some code while Bill is watching us I'm just gonna add the code here you can copy paste it from the description I'll add it there basically this just tells tells the son of to turn on and off when this URL is used. 
Okay, now we can disconnect Sonoff from the laptop and we can put it back together and plug it in in an outlet. I'm not gonna show in details how to put it back together, but uh, it's really easy. You just close it and put back one screw and you're pretty much done. And now the Sonoff outlet is ready to be tested. So make sure that uh, you've submitted your rules. And all you have to do now is to add a few parameters to the URL and you'll be able to turn the sun off on and off by calling those URLs. So in this case, I'm going to put T1 and that means it's gonna turn on. So you'll see in the small screen, the blue light is on. And if I change the URL to T0 and I hit enter, it turns off sun off off. I hope this video was useful. Hit the like if it helped you. And here is how I felt when everything worked.